where we are. Yup, I can sense that you're about to tell me something very interesting. Klee gave a special gift from her mother to an adventurer friend? Oh, she's such a kind-hearted child. As I'm sure you've already guessed, that letter is most definitely written by Alice. Yeah, that's so. Speaking of, guess which two people I ran into on my way to the tavern today? Hmm, Master Jean or Lisa? A mother and daughter, both with long elf ears and the most amazingly adorable personalities. Alice and Klee? Ding, ding, ding! Correct answer! The unaging mage was taking her teeny tiny knight on a vacation, and I happened to run into them. As a friendly greeting, the mysterious woman gave me a gift. She also said that if I meet any fun friends, I should share this gift with them. So now it's yours to keep. Ah, it's a bomb! Minus the fuse, so don't worry, it's not going to explode. Come on, take it! This way, we can talk to each other just like this, even when we're apart. It's called a Dodo communication device, and it allows people to stay in touch over vast distances. However, you can't just use it anytime you want, and there's also a limit on the number of times you can use it. That's why it's currently only available to a certain select few. I heard that the inspiration for this comes from another world. <laughs> Alice is always full of surprises. She and Klee asked me to tell you. Ah. Please take this with you when you depart for the island. No, wait. The promised land with your friends. And have fun. Don't worry about how to get there. The organizers of this vacation have made arrangements. Turn right after you exit the city gates, and you'll see something that will make you very happy. Sounds like the two of you are in cahoots over this. <laughs> of course not. Is that really the sort of person you think I am? Traveler, you're my friend. And as your friend, I just want to give you something that'll make you happy. How can you think this of me? Ah, fair enough. The tone deaf guard does like to joke around, but he's still one of our best friends. Besides, a vacation sounds great. <laughs> Actually, Kazuma and Shinyan seem pretty interested in coming on this trip too. Let's ask them if they want to join us. Oh, you're back. Poor Kazuha's still out for the count. Seems like he can't handle alcohol so well. Shinyan, do you want to come to the islands with us? Adventure. Can't. Huh? He doesn't want to go anymore. He seemed really interested just a moment ago. Can't miss the adventure. <laughs> Kazaha might act mature, but deep down he's just another youngster eager for new experiences. That must be why he didn't think anything of the fruit juice earlier. Well, all the more reason for you to join the island trip. You know, a lot of people have praised the beautiful scenery there. Even Bart's. Okay, sounds like a plan. How do we get there? Someone's got it covered, apparently. There'll be a few others joining us on this trip, and we're meeting at the city gate tomorrow morning. We'll wait for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Traveler? Oh, yeah. They don't official yet, do they? Okay, so here's the deal. There's a princess from a faraway land in her retinue who are also coming on this trip. Huh? Uh, Paimon, don't get me wrong, I'm just asking to make sure, but from the way you're plugging this trip so hard, did the Iridescence Tour folks put you up to this? After all, canceling the Iridescence Tour after people already made the trip, that's kind of the same thing as tricking people into going traveling, ain't it? Ugh, why won't anyone believe Paimon? <laughs> don't worry about that for now. You'll all have the chance to get acquainted with each other tomorrow morning. Whether you're a princess, a retainer, a talking raven, a samurai, or a musician, you're all VIP guests of the island on your summer vacation. And that's what counts, right? 
Ooh, I'm sure looking forward to it. Uh, I'll have to pass. I have some work to take care of. You serious? The Toad Deaf Bard actually has plans to do some work? I promised a young lady with cat ears and a cat tail that I'd sing at her tavern to boost business and beat the competition. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> the competition being this place, which has six-fingered Jose. Aren't you allergic to cats? Yup, <laughs> I can always sing on their roof. She told me that as long as their sales surpass their competitor, there's a whole month's worth of wine in it for me. <laughs> oh, what a fine employment opportunity, virtually tailor-made for me. So have fun, <laughs> and don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, I feel like this summer is going to be a very interesting one. I need to learn to handle my things better. 